Greg and Colleen, we've got a, a rubber tube here that we want to send a wave down. Okay, Greg, first let's do a traveling wave. Give your end just a little pulse, and we'll see if this pulse travel down to Colleen and back again. Okay, good. Okay, now we're going to set up a standing wave. In order to do that, we have to have one wave going down, have it reflect off Colleen, and come back again. So we'll have constructive interference in the middle, where we'll get a maximum amplitude, and then we'll have the ends that you and Colleen are holding not moving very much at all. Good. Okay, now see if you can do one with a node in the middle where it's stationary, and then get two anti-nodes on the outside. So the shape will look kind of like a dumbbell. Okay, see if you can do it. Okay, good. Okay, so now we've got a full wavelength going out and a full wavelength going back. Now, can you make it with two anti-nodes and three nodes? Uh, let's try it again. Almost. Okay, there we go. We've got three anti-nodes and then two nodes in the middle where the wave is stationary. I think you can do four? Three nodes and four anti-nodes? Almost. Okay, there we go. We've got four, kind of. The reason you're having trouble is in order to get these waves to fit, the wavelength has to be just exactly right so that the wave traveling down towards Colleen and back again have exactly the same wavelengths. Ooh, nice. There's a nice four. Are you up for five? We'll try. Okay. Ooh, there you go. Good. That's five. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks.